Hockey's a game of seconds, and creating separation in the game is a lot like speed skating. And for me, having been a four-time Olympian, a junior world champion, and a World Cup medalist, I was always tinkering with speed skates. Because my whole life has been about tenths and hundredths of a second. And when you look at hockey through a little bit of a different lens like I do, having raced all my life, now it's basically racing a lot of times in each shift. So every second counts. You have to have the best equipment if you want to optimize your potential on the ice. If I get beat by you because you train better, you're stronger than me, you're faster than me, no problem, I shake your hand and walk away. But if I get beat on technology, and especially by something that I didn't have access to, I'm not a happy guy. After my skating career was over, I went into professional skating coaching for a couple different teams, Chicago Blackhawks and the Dallas Stars Farm Club. I was asking players to do certain things on the ice. And then I went to demo the drill and I couldn't move. I was restricted and I realized that I didn't have a product to perform on. So I actually flew up to Calgary, Canada to see one of the best boot manufacturers, Scott Van Horn, and asked him to make me a pair of custom skates. And I really was looking for skates that I thought I could coach and, and teach these high level skaters how to perform moves and be free and have natural movement on the ice. Three days later, I came out with a pair of skates. When I got home, I had the key to the Pettit National Ice Center in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, opened up the door, turned on a few lights good enough to see. I skated at one o'clock in the morning. From a first step on the ice, I just felt more stable, more natural movement, was able to flow on the ice, and basically threw up my hands in the air and said, this is it. The execution of the skate was dialed in to the T in only three days, and I never went back to skating on anything different. Basically knew that we had something pretty special from that moment on. So from that, I developed a hybrid hockey skate, which turned into MLX, where we realized we had a great product. Then we merged with Easton, and we got an incredible product now. The Mako skate allows for freedom of movement, allows for you to get to the front of the skate where you can apply downforce and, and really corner very, very hard. It's unbelievable how fast it is on the ice. The stability and the fit are out of this world and will allow players to optimize their potential by having natural movement and having flow and having feel on the ice. Hockey's ready for a quantum leap in skates, and once people understand what a high-performance piece of equipment feels like on their feet, they'll never go back.